Okay. And we're now recording. So there's a couple of things we said that were wrong with this one. Uh, one of the main ones is we're missing pieces. And how do we bring those pieces back? The other one is going to be color. And then the third one, if you choose to do this one, is going to be leveling it out. So, But I'm going to show you how to level just in case. But like I said, I think it's on a hill, so um, it's okay as is. Uh, but we can go ahead and take care of it if we need to. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to, before we color it, we're going to go ahead and we're going to fill in those, those missing spots. And to do that, there's a couple of ways. Now, I could go and I could go to the clone stamp. And what the clone stamp tool looks like, it's this right here. It's this little stamper here. It looks like you can push S to get it. And it's a brush. And we're just a normal brush you would paint on. So if I get a regular brush and I get paint and I start painting, we paint color. But what's neat about the clone stamp tool is I get my clone stamp. And here's the more, most important part is we need to sample a piece of the area that we want to paint with. So we're actually going to, instead of loading paint, we're going to load a part of a picture. And we're going to paint that part of a picture somewhere else. Now to do that, we need to first analyze our photo and say, okay, what kind of image do we want over here? Do you want it to be full of grass? Do you want it to be full of people? Or do you want it to be full of this uh, brush here? So I'm going to go ahead and do this here, this foliage here. And I'm going to go ahead and hold my Alt key. Okay. So your Alt Option key is the sample button. Let me go ahead and zoom in so you can see a little closer. If I hold Alt, I get, a, I get crosshairs. And those crosshairs is what's going to allow me to sample an area. So if I wanted to get this area here, I'm going to go ahead and hold Alt. I'm going to click in this area. And if you look here, look at that. I have now loaded that area onto my brush. And I can now paint that area on. That's nice, but there's a problem is that once I start going up, up, now I'm starting to paint that white where I was there. And I'll have to keep repeating that over and over. And the problem with that is, is I'm going to get an ugly kind of like repeated image over and over and over. So you can see it here. So you see I get this repeated image. I'm going to go ahead and undo this because Photoshop has this really cool tool that came out in the early CS versions and it's called Content Aware. And to access Content Aware, the first thing you need to do is you need to select an area. Now to select an area, we're going to use our clone stamp, or sorry, our marquee tools. And I hope you remember where your marquee tools are. We use this in our Surrealism project. The, there are three marquees. There is these here, like your rectangular elliptical. You have your lasso marquees, and then you have your magic ones, like your magic wand or quick selection. We're going to use the lasso one. So we're going to need to draw. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lasso the area that I need, and I'm also going to lasso the area that I want Photoshop to analyze. Okay. And to do that, here's how it works. I Again, I need to lasso the entire area that I need to fix, which is going to be all this white. But how you do this, the important thing is, is you're going to lasso a small area of what you want Photoshop to look at and what you want Photoshop to fill this in with. I know it's kind of confusing, but I'll show you um, what we have three here. So I'll do two of them here. So first of all, I want to grab everything. Now, what do I want Photoshop to analyze? I want Photoshop to analyze just a little bit of this here. If I go too far in and I get too close to those people, Photoshop's going to start adding pieces of those people in. It's going to start adding like their heads and their legs and stuff, and that's going to be kind of weird. So if you look here, I have not only all of this, but I have this as well. Now, where is content to where? I go to edit. I go to fill because I'm going to fill an area here. So I go edit, fill, and I'm going to choose content to where. The content to where is here in contents. Because I can fill it with black, I can fill it with white, I can fill it with gray, I can fill it with a color, but I want to fill it with content to where. I want Photoshop to be aware of the content that I've selected for it. Now all I have to do is push OK, cross my fingers, and hope it works. And boom. Does everybody remember what deselect is? Command what? D. Command D to deselect. And there we go. And that's not bad at all. What's nice about this, though, okay, there's a couple of spots that may have repeated. 
There's this spot of white over here, but you know what? Because I know the clone stamp tool now, I'm going to go ahead and grab my clone stamp tool. I'm going to sample a small area around here, and I'm just going to go ahead and touch in there. And look at that. That white spot's gone. Okay. And if you have any spots that are kind of messed up, you can do that as well. So I'm going to do one more for you, just so you guys totally get the hang of it. So first thing we need to do is grab our lasso tool. We're going to lasso around here, just getting a small area here. Right there. And now we go to edit, fill, and then we're going to use content aware. And there we go. Command D to deselect and done. Okay. It's like magic. It's pretty cool. Now the last thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and fix the color. Now to fix the color here, there's too much red. And do you guys know what my favorite adjustment tool is for exposure? When it's time to fix exposure, what's my favorite tool to use in Photoshop? Levels. Levels. Thank you. I know that's what you're going to say. Levels. So I'm going to go ahead and use my levels. And there's a couple of ways that I can use levels. I can go to the adjustments here on the right-hand side. So I'm going to go here to levels adjustment. And what's nice about this is that it's a non-destructive edit, which means if I do something to it and I do something way too drastic and I'm like, whoa, what did I do? I can go ahead and I can throw that away because it's non-destructive and it will go away eventually. Trash can, yes, and it's gone. It's non-destructive. It didn't actually touch my image. It hovers above my image. So levels is here, right there. That's your levels. So if I click on a levels adjustment, there we go. So nothing's happening yet. Now in the past, we've done levels adjustment this way where we've changed we make the whites more white. We make the blacks darker. We can adjust our middle grays as well. But that's because we're in RGB mode. If we select individual colors now, this is how we can actually color correct. So in RGB mode, it affects black, white, and grays in between. If I click on this, I now have individual color channels. And if I go to red, look at that. What do you see? We can't see the image, but what do you see that's the problem with red here? What's, what's red missing? It's missing dark reds, right? So what we can do is we can reassign our dark reds, and where there's no dark reds at all, we're going to go ahead and move it closer to this mountain. Remember, it's a graph. So just because there's a couple of points, I mean, there's a few dark spots that we're going to make dark red. Now I'm going to do this without even looking at my image to see how it works. Same thing for green. And then finally, the same thing for blue. Now, there may be additional adjustments we need to go back in and do, just kind of like tweak with our eye. But let me go ahead now and zoom out and see. We have a much better photo, right? So we have essentially kind of a photo fix. And then finally, if you guys wanted to do this, if you guys wanted to level it out, one thing you can do is you can get your crop tool, which is over here. Zoom out. And then with my crop tool here, remember, you can crop an image like this. That's what the crop tool typically does. But what's cool about the crop, the crop tool is you have this thing up here called straighten. And it's in your options. Remember, every single tool has its own set of options. And do you guys know what that is there? You guys, know, you guys ever use a level, like the little bubble thing? <coughs> so if we grab that, and then we draw a straight line. Now, what, what should I use to draw a straight line? What should I use? I'm going to use this horizon line here. So if I draw a straight line on this horizon line, Photoshop's going to use that, analyze my photo, and straighten it out using that. Okay. Now, it looks like they're falling over because it was on a hill, but this is going to help you out in many ways. You're taking snapshots, taking photos, and your horizon's just off a little bit. You guys use that straighten tool, draw a straight line, and you're good to go. Okay. So that's it for that one. I'm going to go ahead and stop this one now. Thank you.